Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you want to see how I got some curly locks, then stay tuned. We're starting off with a week old two-strand twist right now. And if you want to see that video, I will leave it in the description box as well so you can check that out. You do not have to wait a week to get some curly locks. You can just follow that tutorial, sit up under the dryer, and you are good. So the first thing you want to do is grab a red tail comb. And this is the process that I'm using to take off the rubber bands at the end of his hair. It's the safest way because you don't want to snag any of his hair accidentally off at the end but you'll see in this video that he started helping as well and he just started popping off the rubber bands with his finger which is fine as well however you want to do it but the whole purpose is to get the rubber bands off and i'm gonna do all of the rubber bands first and then i will go back in and we'll just start another process after that so you just see me doing this right here i was kind of cooking so you probably see me step off a little bit but anyway i am using some grease right here and you just want to add a little bit and the grease is really really thin it really turns into an oil so you can also just use the oil when unraveling the two strand twist to create that curly dreadlocks so yeah so right now i'm just showing you how i'm just taking it off and i'm giving you some close-ups and you just want to start at the bottom of the dreadlock and you want to untwist it and this is how it's looking it's getting curly or crinkled or however you want to say this but if you want the same look you definitely can achieve this look in less than i would say probably in an, an hour or so if it's something that you want to switch up your dreadlocks to give it a different look this will be easy simple and it doesn't take a long while and if you want to see an update video of how his um curly locks are looking within a week or so then leave me a comment and i will definitely bring in you that video as well to give you an update to see how long it lasts and how full his hair got or did it frizz or did it last or Whatever. So just a quick update if that's something that you're interested interested in. And I also applying some black Jamaican castor oil to the root of his hair, to the scalp part, and we're just gonna um just apply a small amount. And after you apply that amount, you just want to make sure that you're rubbing it in, massaging the scalp, stimulating the follicles, and just promoting some good hair growth. And this is the final look. And if you like in this video, and if you found it helpful, then just leave a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any more video suggestions, then leave it down in the description box. Have a great, blessed day.